Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Um, this is my third comic book haul video. In my previous previous video, I talked about um, going to this place that I heard of that might have some comics, and I told you all that I was gonna say if that was true, like if it had good comics or anything, and that was like half truth, like 50% truth, because I didn't find comics there, and some pretty cool ones, but really bad shape. Um, but you know, for 50 cents a piece, it wasn't too bad. And then I went to another place around uh, that area, and then I picked up some stuff from over there too. So let's uh, just get right into the, the haul. So um, my first one here that I'm going to show you all is Batman uh, 102, which this is the first appearance, uh, the first full appearance of Ghostmaker. Um, and the origin of Ghost Mage, which is someone that uh, Bruce Wayne knew in his early days. Um, so pretty cool. And then next one here, we've got a Hulk number 267, which is the first cameo appearance of uh, Bruce Banner's father um, in a dreamlike sequence. And that cover is awesome. I love that cover. Um, the next one that I have here, this one is Justice League International number 12. Um, this is, I believe, the origin of Maxwell Lord. And the first appearance of someone called Ice. I made some notes down here on a, on a piece of paper. I'm trying to look because I have quite a few stuff there. Yeah, the first appearance of Ice. So, yeah, whoever that is, I don't I don't even know who that is right now. Um, the next one here, we've got Batman number 108, which is the uh, first appearance of uh, Miracle Molly. Um, the first full appearance, sorry, that's the first full appearance of Miracle Molly. Um, the first appearance of Squeak. The first appearance, the first full appearance of Master Wise, I think it is, what I wrote there. And also the origin of Peacekeeper 01. So quite a few first appearances there. Pretty cool. Um, and that's a cute little cover. This cover is nice too. This cover I actually do like. Um, this one, oops, let me see. Yeah, it's this one. I went there and I asked for the uh, some sleeves. They only had like Silver Age. Okay, so this one is the Batman Detective uh, Comics number 1046. This is the first appearance of uh, Dr. Ware and the first appearance of Anna Volsion. So two neat little first appearances there. Um, the next one, this one's pretty cool. Okay, so I think I did talk about in my previous video that I wanted this comic. It's not uh, Detective Comics, uh, it's not Detective Comics 1000, but it is Detective Comics 1027, um, which has two things, two pretty uh, big things. It has, well, the bigger, there's a small one and then there's a big one, you know, considering that this is uh, celebrating a thousand issues of since Batman first appeared in anything, but especially in Detective Comics. And really nice cover. This is not the the cover A, but this is one of the covers, so at least I can say that I have it. Um, and that's a pretty nice cover. And, uh, let me show you the spine here, too. It's, I think it's, I looked it up and it said 140. 44 pages, so pretty cool. Only thing that kind of sucks is that um, it's got like a little, little chipping there or something. I don't know, but you know what? The cover is nice. I, I really absolutely love this cover. Um, that cover with just like Batman and, Bat and Batwoman there, pretty cool. I want to get this one that it's. Uh, Detective Comics 1027 and it, and it has like Batman and Robin and then like Batman and Robin back back then in like the 40s So pretty cool. That's another cover that I will want to get for the Detective Comics 1027, but uh, To keep on going to keep on going uh, Next one we got here This one's all, all right. Uh, I do like enjoy this cover. I don't know why it's just uh, I Would say though that Superman looks a little funky in that uh, in that cover, but you know, overall, it's not a bad appeal. Um, this is Adventures uh, of Superman number 539. This is the first appearance uh, 
of Anomaly, which is formerly Floyd uh, Bullets Barrel. So pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Um, so this next one here has no significant thing other than this is one of, when I started reading comics uh, years ago, um, well, not years ago, but you know, this is when I started, I started reading comics uh, like seven years ago, eight years ago. This is one of the first uh, comics that I remember vividly reading like the first issue and that got me hooked on to like this this uh series the future's end um was amazing i absolutely loved it um so cool this guy right here with now i forget his name but he, he was a cool character um in there uh just pretty cool that was just nostalgia and i saw it for pretty cool for was it two bucks um so i had to pick it up this is one of the other places that I was talking about. I, I mixed in that place that I was saying that had the comics for like 50 cents that I heard was good. And then the other places that I went to after that were just there in the area that I've heard of. Um, that were just some comic shops and stuff. And this one I saw it there for two bucks at that comic shop that was near that place that I was talking about. So all these books are mixed in with the place that I said. Um, uh, with the place that I said that had the 50 cent comics. So all these books are just mixed in because I mix them all up. Um, but if I do remember where I got it from, I'll, I'll say it there. Um, so next one is Justice League of America, number 93. This is the first appearance of Scatterbus, um, which is the father. I forgot he's the father of someone. Someone, 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 someone. I don't remember now, and I'm trying to look for the notes that I made here, but... Uh, I just wrote so many stuff that I don't even know where I wrote the stuff. So. But whatever. Um, JLA number 93, yeah. First appearance of Scarabus and Father of Equinox. And pretty cool cover too. Not too bad. This one's pretty cool. This one I picked up on eBay. Um, this one's really cool. This is uh, Captain America number 337. This is the first... Uh, Appearance of the Captain, Steve Rogers, um, in what would become the U.S. agent's costume. So pretty cool. So I guess, quote unquote, right? Uh, this is the first appearance of the uh, U.S. agent's costume, that costume there. And it is a cover homage of, uh, I believe, what is it? Uh, oh, I forgot now. Uh, what is it? Captain America 100? Something like that. I forgot the issue that it's called, but it has that cover homage of that iconic cover. Um, so pretty cool. Um, next one. This one I literally just picked up because of the cover. I don't know why. This cover looks so cool with all these colors. That it's, you know, nothing out of this world. I mean, is it? Yeah, it is out of this world. <laughs> uh, don't just forget over what I said. That was a, that was a pretty bad joke. But... Uh, Le who's who in the legion of superheroes uh issue three of seven that cover is beautiful i love it um we've got here a couple of characters that i i can't tell who are they i guess it's some people from the legion of superheroes um i'm not too familiar with the legion of superheroes so yeah um next one this one i also picked up just because of the cover and i don't remember this is just cover a or this is some other variant cover but I suppose that it's just cover because I don't see anything that says very in addition. And if it would have been a virgin uh, cover, it would have probably said, I don't know, it would have probably had nothing up in the front. So, a pretty cool cover, that's why I picked it up. Sorry for my hiccups there. I've been having hiccups like all day, I don't know why. Um, Justice League of America, special number one, uh, one shot issue. Also picked this up because of the cover, just why not? That cover is absolutely fantastic. Got it for like what two bucks and seventy five cents. It says five fifty best just from just old tags that these people have. Um, then here, pretty cool. Some really bad shape, like really really bad shape. Uh, DC Comics, but they're all Silver Age, I believe. Yeah. Um, let's start off with uh, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen number. Uh, 10, uh, what is that? 101? Superman's Power Jimmy also number 101. Pretty beat up shape. Um, then we got here Superman's Pow Jimmy Olsen, uh, number 74. 
Um, then pretty cool here, we've got uh, Action Comics number 333. Um, pretty cool. And then, I don't know if these have any first appearance or any uh, key issues. I doubt not, but who knows. This one I know for sure doesn't have any like key key issue or like some minor thing in it, but it's just pretty cool. Uh, first appearance, sorry, not first appearance. Ah, the Flash 189. Um, and this is pretty, pretty sad, but um, look at the way that this was, uh, this was an uh, egg uh, in that uh, collectible shop. This is another of those. This one was pretty good though, for 50 cents, you know, Silver Age. Um, but this was, um, those $5, just ignore it. That was just like literally an old uh, tag that they had there, I guess, or something like that. But um, this is pretty sad of how they uh, of how they wrap this, you know, of how they protected this. It's like one of those uh, things that you put in a folder or in a binder, those sleeves. So it's pretty sad, but you know, you see that and you're just like, oh, what were they thinking? But whatever. Um, next one here we've got. Uh, Alpha Flight number 41. This is, I believe, the, um, this has a first appearance. Uh, first appearance of Purple Girl, the father, uh, the daughter of Purple Man. Um, and pretty cool cover with those crocodiles or alligators. Um, then we got another JLA International number 14, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, JLI, J Justice League International. Did I write this one down? I don't remember. I know this has a first appearance of someone. Um, if I can find it here, you all. Um, where did I put this one? Uh, actually, uh, I, I might not have wrote this one down. Well, just to give you uh, something, it, I know it does have a first appearance of someone. But I just didn't write it down, I guess. Um, I don't know why. But, uh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did, I did. Okay, so this is the first appearance of Manga Khan and Elrond. Um, so pretty cool. Um, next one here. We got Alpha Flight number 22. This is the uh, first appearance of Pink Pearl. And I believe that's just it. Um, I don't think this one has any other, any other, uh, whatchamacallit, any other, um, key or, or something else there, at least from what I, from the notes that I wrote, I don't believe I, uh, I don't believe it doesn't have any other thing, I believe, um, yeah, so, Alpha Flight, number 22, first appearance of Pink Pearl. Um, if it has some other key issues, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, Avenger Spotlight. So, um, this is the first appearance of Xenophobic. That's, a, that's the name. Um, Xenophobic, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see here, let me see here. Avenger Spotlight. Yeah, of Xenophobic Man. The first appearance of Zemo from the So pretty cool. I think that's the only thing that's in here. Um, if there is another thing, uh, which now that I'm thinking, there might be something else that I did not write um, that this book has, but this is one of those things that's in that book. Um, next one. So these are some of these uh, really bad shit uh, comics that I told you guys that were pretty good, but they're just in pretty bad shape. Um, so let me show you all. So this one is uh, The Amazing Spider-Man number 282. Look at, just look at the, I need to get a uh, comic bag on the boards and I ordered some, but they haven't gotten in yet. Um, so yeah, this one is just the special deep border uh, cover that they did um, for like the 25th anniversary of like Fantastic Four. Um, the next one here, um, 
And let me put this over here. Okay. So next one is Exalibur number 47. And uh, this is uh, the first full appearance of C Cerise. Um, pretty cool. Um, that was not too bad of a uh, condition, but it's still not uh, the best. So this one's pretty cool. It's always cool to uh, find this for a dollar or less. I bought this for 50 cents. And this is X Horse number one, not in the best shape at all. And it has like this, the, I don't know if you see that line running down or whatever. Um, this is the third appearance of Warpass, the first cameo appearance of Tyler Dayspring, um, first cameo appearance of a GW Bridge. And then there's also this pretty cool thing that I didn't know, not know. There's a uh, unofficial appearance of Deadpool in a uh, character profile, uh, like it's a page that's here at the end. Like an unofficial, like it's in a uh, character profile, uh, additional content. And uh, let me see if I can find it here. Oh yeah, here's, here he is. Um, Deadpool in there. I did not know that about X Force at, at number one. But, you know, it's not an appearance. It's just a, um, just something there. Um, that is it, not part of the actual story. Just a, like I was saying, it's a profile additional content page. So next one here, we've got in really bad shape, um, Nova number 21, and I believe this is the uh, first appearance of, of somebody, I don't remember now, um, let me check, this is the, uh, the cover's pretty nice too, um, but I don't remember the name, I don't remember the name, so many, yeah, Nova, the first cameo appearance of Comet, uh, which is Harris Moore, so pretty cool. Then here we got this one was pretty cool for fifty cents. Uh, Marvel two in one, The Thing and Mister Fantastic. Uh, there's a couple of first appearances in there. Um, I just don't remember. No. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so we got the first appearance of Mailstorm, just to name a couple. First appearance of Phobias, um, and a couple other first appearances, and like and then like a first cameo appearance. So then this one's pretty cool. This one is X Factor number 15. This is where Angel gets his wings clipped, which I think later on he turns into like a horseman or like or, or something like that. The four horsemen, one of the four horsemen or something, some, something along those lines. This is also the first partial team appearance of the Horsemen of Apocalypse. So I guess that's where everything just starts going downhill. And that cover is nice. I do like that cover. Um, I believe I... I showed this in like my first comic book haul, but I found another one in not too bad of a condition. And this one is uh, Generation X, um, issue number two. Um, and this is the first full appearance of Penance, Mona St. Croix. Pretty cool. Okay, now this one is, uh, these next two here that I have are pretty cool, but just in really bad shape, like really bad shape, like the the uh the spine wants to fall off i mean it technically does it's literally hanging by like a piece um but you know for 50 cents whatever i'll pick it up and it is uh marvel h double size and, and if i'm not mistaken this is the second appearance of silver sable so just pretty bad shape though a lot of characters though a lot of characters so Speaking of a lot of characters in a cover, my next comic book haul, which is hopefully sometime this week, maybe by the end of this week, probably, of the week that's coming up, so in about a week, maybe like next Saturday or something, um, or maybe earlier, it just all depends on if they get it in time. I ordered a bunch of books on, on eBay, um, some really cool ones too, in my opinion. Like, there's two of them are, uh, that are graded, one by CBCS and another one by CGC, but the one by CGC is also signed by someone. Um, I don't want to say it until I until I show it in the upcoming video, but it's pretty cool. And those will be my first ever uh, graded comics. I've never had any graded comics, so that will be that's gonna be pretty cool. So the next one here, we've got Avengers West Coast Avengers number uh, 
71, and this is the first appearance of Pele, which I think is the only thing in this, uh, in this, uh, like the only first appearance in that book. And then also cover homage of X-Men 101. So pretty cool. Then last but not least, uh, this one, really bad shape too, but um, pretty cool. Um, this is West Coast Avengers number 21, and this is when Moon Knight joins the West Coast Avengers. So yeah, and like I said, this one's also uh, similar to the uh, uh, Marvel Age. Um, the spine just wants to fall off, so I, I can't wait for my uh, bags and boards to come in and so I can sleeve those in because I'm just very scared that it's going to get even worse and that you can't even see the cover because at least you know if I someone put this in you know these comics in a uh and if someone readjust them a bit you know I'm not going to sell them or anything it's just to keep them in my collection um you know just to have that cool thing of saying oh I have the second appearance of Silver Sable um so yeah thank you all for watching um and I hope uh, I'll be doing my next comic book haul video in a couple couple of days. Thank you all. Take care.